Hello everybody to the Kingdom Hearts 3 Lucky Emblem Guide. We're going to be taking a look at the Olympus world and all of its locations. So first up for numbers 2 and 3, these two are actually fairly easy to obtain. If you just go to Thebes Agora, you can reach both of them fairly easily. The first one is actually directly on the right hand side as soon as you come back Let's from see. the save point. As you can see here on the screen, it is directly in front of you. And it's nice and big. It's always on that wall at the very end. Let's see. Number two, then, if you go to the left hand side, all the way far left. Up the staircase, on the right hand side. Hop over this little ledge over here and go all the way to the very end. You will see Lucky Emblem number two. Let's see. Next up are Lucky Emblems number six and seven, which will be in the Thebes Agora. Uh, location as well. This time though, you have to go backwards and it will be in this entire uh, Greenland location basically on the mountain. You want to head all the way down to the very end of the river and then up the actual side here and climb up the wall. From here you can actually go left or right and for numbers six and seven you want to go to the right hand side. Over here you'll notice a waterfall and there'll be some enemies that spawn up. But after you beat them, you'll see right here that the Lucky Emblem is actually right here behind the waterfall. If the waterfall is still there when you reach this, just go ahead and defeat the enemies that are in that location first, and then afterwards the waterfall will disappear. For the next emblem though, you want to ride up the actual same waterfall and just keep going forward a little bit. Jump onto the climbable wall on the right hand side and keep going up a bit. From here make a left and you'll actually encounter some enemies. After you take care of the enemies you'll notice on the left hand side on the very ledge there's actually a little rock formation on top of a mountain part that clearly shows a Let's lucky see. emblem. Next up is number 5, which is going to still be in Thebes Agora save point. Now we're actually going in the same general direction as the previous Lucky Emblem, except this time we'll be making a left hand side at that turning point instead of the right hand side where the waterfall was. So right here where the turning point is, make a left hand side this time and climb up the wall. As soon as you make it up the walls, you'll notice these two pillars and on one of the pillars is the lucky emblem. Let's see. For lucky emblem number four, you actually want to go to Thebes Overlook. Now, there's actually two emblems in this location, but for the easiest one, go up the stairs and you'll notice that as soon as you exit the little corridor, at the very end at the wall, there's actually a lucky emblem. Let's see. Back at the save same point, instead of going up the stairs this time, you'll actually want to go downstairs this time. You can go ahead and skip the enemies that are in this location and just keep going forward. Sora. You want to go all the way down past the rooftops. And from here you'll just glide all the way down to where the pillars are. As soon as you land, you'll notice that on the right hand side, in a little kind of like smashed formation is the lucky emblem. Next up is 
Lucky Emblem number eight, which is going to be in the Mount Olympus Summit save point. You want to head all the way in the backwards direction towards the area where you fought the Rock Titan. From here, you want to jump down the cliff where you fought the Rock Titan and head all the way down. From here, there'll be another cliff that you can jump off of. Do not jump here, and instead just keep going straight forward. There'll be another pit on the left-hand side. Don't worry about that. The emblem will actually be on the right-hand side as soon as you take care of the enemies in a kind of string formation that's on a branch. Let's see. You find the next one. Emblems 9 through 12 will be in the Mount Olympus Corridor save point. Numbers 9 and 10 are fairly easy. The first one you can counter just going up these stairs and it will be directly on the right hand side in the middle of the second stage of the staircase. Let's see. After that one, head directly to the left and grind up this railing. You'll encounter a room, defeat all the enemies, and then go ahead and smash this pot. There will be a lucky emblem right behind it. Let's see. Back at the corridor save point, go ahead and go back up those flight of stairs that you were at before. This time, keep going on the right-hand side and go down that railing on the right-hand side instead. You'll encounter a kind of canal-looking thing where you can kind of slip and fall and such. Keep going all the way down and fall down the kind of waterfall that's there. You'll then arrive in the secluded forge, and this is where Lucky Emblem 11 is going to take place. Keep going downward, and you'll notice that the emblem is directly on the anvil that's in the middle of the forge. Lucky Emblem number 12 will still be at the Mount Olympus Corridor save point. This time, directly from the save point, go all the way to the left hand side instead of the right. Go past the little sat sandworm thing that's there. And for this one, you'll actually want to go down the light rail. Once you make it all the way to the top, go to the left hand side up the staircase. Take care of the enemies that are there. And then once you're done with that, go all the way to the very edge. And in the distance, you'll notice that a cloud is actually in the shape of the Mickey Mouse things for the last lucky emblem. For Twilight Town, the lucky emblems are fairly simple, with the first one being on the left hand side against the wall. This is going to be the first emblem that you get within the game, uh, which see. teaches you about the lucky emblems in the first place, so you should already have this one. Lucky emblem number two requires no effort at all. You just locate the tram that's rotating around the center of the city. And if you jump on top of it, you will notice that there is a emblem on the end of the tram. Let's see. Got it. Well, I'll help you find the next one. Lucky emblem number three is actually going to be on the right hand side on the very top of the Moogle shop itself. It will be located on top of one of the ceilings. Let's see. Yeah. Lucky emblem number four is actually going to be on the left hand side towards the little theater section where the 
classic Kingdom mini games are kind of being advertised. Hope we find some ingredients. This one's going to be a little bit trickier and hard to notice at a casual run through, but it's going to be located on the actual projection itself. Just stare at it a little bit, and towards the end of one of the little clips, there will be a little the end section. After that disappears, the lucky emblem will appear for a brief amount of time before going on to the next clip. Lucky emblem number five is going to be on top of the building that's across from the theater section. On very top, you will notice that there is a table with plates on it, organized in the shape of the lucky emblem. Now for Lucky Emblem 6 through 9, you want to go to the Old Mansion save point. From here, you want to go all the way towards to the very back of the forest. Number six will be directly on the door flaps that lead into the sewers. From there, go to the right hand side and climb up the walls and directly in front of you, you will see lucky emblem number seven. Fall down, and on the way back to the save point, go ahead and hug the right side of the forest. Keep doing this until you reach a little enclave. Directly in front of you will be the emblem in a different color compared to the rest of the dirt. Last but not least, Lucky Emblem number 9 is actually be right next to the save point where we started off, uh, is on the other side of the wall. Nice picture, Sora. For the Toy Box world, numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4 will be in Andy's house. They'll be on the way to each other, but starting with the first one directly in front of you on top of a shelf. Let's see. From here, you can then head directly behind you towards the window and jump out. Go to the rooftop, and once you're done beating the Heartless, go to the right-hand side corner of the rooftop. Let's see. For the third lucky emblem, you can then head towards the front of the house to the door. And in front of the door will be a pile of leaves in the shape of a lucky emblem. From here you can then head towards the car in the distance on the right hand side across the street. Once you're done taking care of the Heartless, go ahead and take a look at behind the car and you'll see next to the license plate is a lucky emblem. Let's see. For numbers 5 and 6, head to Galaxy Toys on the first floor. Head directly to the right hand side and stand on top of the shelf. You notice a bunch of tape shaped like a lucky emblem. I'll help you find the next one. From here, you can then head towards yeah. any mech that's inside the yeah. shop. You might have to do a little bit of fighting. Yeah. Huh. Once inside, start heading towards the back area of the floor. You'll notice a stack of boxes. Go ahead and destroy it with your mech, and once you've done so, go to the platform, and you'll notice on the very bottom, underneath all of that, was a lucky emblem. The 
for number seven, you can use the rest area save point if you wish, but if you're already on the first floor, I prefer using the flow motion uh, dash instead. But once you're there, head to the action arcade area and head towards the very back area of the shop. You want to head towards the Beasts and Beetles section in the back. And once you're there, climb up the wall and you'll see a ventilation system. Go ahead and go inside it. From there, you can just keep going forwards a little bit until you reach a kind of draft fan area. Go ahead and jump upward and behind you will be the lucky emblem. Let's see. I'll help you find the next one. For number eight, go to the third floor save point. Head to the left hand side and you'll notice a UFO that's in the center of the entire galaxy toys. On top of it would be lucky emblem number eight. Let's see. For number 9, start at the third floor save point and head towards the Children's and Tots shop on the left hand side. Go ahead and head towards the back of the shop on the left hand side. You'll notice a kind of a showcase glass case type platform. Go ahead and go on top of it, take care of any heartless that you need to. And if you look towards the center of the shop, there should be a couple of disco globes. Keep in mind that you have to stand on top of here to get the right angle for this picture. For number 10, it's actually right next to the third floor save point. Just go to the statue on the left hand side and it'll be directly in front of you. Let's see. Make sure you get my good side. Number 11 is one of the easiest ones, which is right next to the first floor save point. Just head behind you and then on the right hand side will be a stack of boxes. There should be a couple of signs, which makes it a little bit harder to see. see on a casual run through, but it is a lucky emblem. Nice picture, Sora. For the Kingdom of Corona, the first lucky emblem will be in the forest tower. If you keep heading forwards, go slightly beyond the tower. You will see a little rock Let's formation see. in the shape of the lucky emblem. However, because of the fact that you can't get the appropriate angle from on the ground, you have to go up the tower itself in order to get the proper angle to Let's take the see. picture. Lucky Emblem number two will be in the Forest Marsh. This one's fairly simple, just keep heading forwards and just hug the right side for the majority of the time. You'll be wanting to keep a lookout for a hollowed out area on the right hand side. Once you find it, the lucky emblem will be on the right hand side in a different color compared Let's to the rest see. of the rock. What have you got there? Well, I'll help you find the next one. Lucky emblem number three will be in the forest campsite. Now, this one's a little bit tricky to figure out unless you know where you're going. But you want to go back to where Rapunzel was swinging uh, across the branches with her hair. Now right here you could use Rapunzel to either swing across if you still can or otherwise you can just dash across or use Glide. But once you're inside go forward, go ahead and take care of any Heartless, look to your left hand side and on the barrel will be the Lucky Emblem. The rest of the Lucky Emblems will take place in the Kingdom Thoroughfare, with number 4 actually being directly behind you. Just go ahead and go across the bridge. 
From here, take a look at the left hand side. You'll notice on the counter ledge that the lucky emblem is poking out. For numbers 5 through 8, they're actually all on the way to each other, so I'm grouping them together. The first one being directly in front in this archway right next to this dude. Let's see. Number 6, then if you go through the archway and head to the left hand side, you'll see the big wooden doors. It's actually on the door. For number seven, keep going left until you see a short tower in the distance. Go on the right hand side of it until you reach the doorway and on the frame Let's will see. be the lucky emblem. For number eight, you then want to keep going forward until you reach the very end of the sidewalk. You'll notice a couple of barrels in the shape Let's of a Mickey see. Mouse emblem, which is the lucky emblem. Uh -huh. Number 9 will be on the left hand side of the entire city at the big lighthouse. Now you can either walk all the way around if you choose to, but if you have glide, uh, you can most likely just glide all the way over there. It's going to be right on top inside the little fire pit. Let's see. For Monstropolis, Lucky Emblems number 1 and 2 will be located in the Monsters Inc. Lobby and Offices save point. From there, make your way to the right hand side until you reach the little office door area. From there on the right side, there'll be a clown boulder. Just smack it a few times and underneath it will be the emblem. You'll need to smack it a little bit so that way it gets out of the way. But once you do so, you can take the picture. Let's see. Got it. I'll help you find the next one. From there, lucky emblem number two will actually be in the same exact area located on one of these desks. It'll be drawn on a clipboard right in front of you so you can take the picture. Let's see. Numbers three and four will be at the factory basement save point. From there, you want to head towards the white door in front of you and go all the way towards the end. Here there will be two doors with red lights over them. There will be a lucky emblem in each of them. Number three is on the right side, and number four is on the left. This door should take us right back to the left floor. Number three, when you go through, it will be all the way towards the very end of the room against the wall. Let's see. Back at the double doors, if you take the left hand door this time, you'll be going after lucky emblem number four. From here, if you go all the way backwards, I think we should check out what's over there. You notice in the distance the where the doors are, highlighted Let's in see. yellow is the lucky emblem. For numbers 5 and 6 will be located in the factory ground floor save point. From here make your way to the right hand side and you'll notice a puddle of paint. This is where number 5 is located. From here you can continue on forwards and head all the way towards the back. From here right next to the staircase you'll see lucky emblem Let's number see. 6. For number seven, now if you head back towards the save point, here you want to go inside the elevator that's right in front of it.
from here you can just go forwards for a little bit. Keep going until you start reaching the construction site on the left side. You'll see some steam and stuff, and it'll be right there on Let's the wall. See. For numbers 8 and 9, they'll be at the power plant accessory save point. Nasty Number 8 will actually be right next to where Sully is standing, next to a desk. Scream! Number 9 would then be on your right hand side through this hallway. You'll be heading forward for quite a bit, so this would probably be one of the longest sections to reach. Once you made it to these doors, behind it, on top of it, would be Buck Emblem number nine. Nice picture, Sora. Number ten is going to be at the power plant tank yard, and it's actually in the very same room where the save point is. Just head on top one of these boxes on the platform here and make your way towards the right hand side, and you'll see that one of the pipes is in the shape of the lucky emblem. For number 11, the last one will be at the door vault surface area save point. Just head all the way towards down the gateway. Once through, go all the way up the staircase. Don't worry, the fire's been out for a while. Yeah. And if you look down, you'll see that one of the puddles takes the shape of the lucky emblem. It may require a bit of fidgeting to take the picture, but once you do so, it should be easy. For the world of Arendelle, the first couple of lucky emblems will be located in the Labyrinth of Ice Lower Tier Save Point. From here, go to the left hand side and head all the way towards the end of the tunnel. On the wall will be Let's lucky see. emblem number three. For number four, go backwards and head back towards the save point. From here on the left hand side, go towards the doorway. And while here, head all the way towards the top of the room using flow motion. Once there, on the left hand side, look at the bridge, and on the left hand side of the bridge will be lucky emblem number four. Let's see. Yes. For lucky emblem number one, Go to the North Mountain Gorge save point. From here, go to the left hand side and head all the way down and hug the left side while doing so. So, no later, we come across a crossroads, take the left hand side and dive all the way down. Once at the bottom, you'll notice the lucky emblem on a tree stump. Let's see. Lucky emblem number two is going to be at North Mountain Gorge. This time we want to take the right hand side uh, portal. Here we might be able to reach them. Once you've gone through, go ahead and look behind you. Use flow motion on the elevator to go down on the bottom floor. From here, go directly in front of you and go ahead and hug the left hand side. Skip this elevator and go ahead and smash this glass door. From here, you want to keep going forwards until you find another glass door similar to the one you just broke. Once you've done so, go ahead and jump upwards on top of the bridge, and on the right hand side will be lucky emblem number two. Let's see. I'll help you find the next one.
For Lucky Emblem number five, go to the North Mountain Gorge. From here, you want to go to the portal again. This time, you're going to be going completely straight forwards towards the grind rail. From here, go ahead and hug the left-hand side until you find another doorway. There should be another grind rail. Go ahead and jump on top of the stone architecture, and at the very edge, go ahead and look down. You'll see a rock formation in the form of the Campbell number five. Let's see. For Lucky Emblem number 6, go to the North Mountain Mountain Ridge save point. Go ahead and look behind you and on the right hand side. Jump down a little bit, you'll see a slope on the edge of the mountain. Go towards the bottom of it and on the wall, you'll see Lucky Emblem number 6. Let's see. For Lucky Emblems number 7 and 8, go to the North Mountain Mountain Ridge save point and head towards the right hand side where the little cavern entrance is. Once here, go ahead and go forwards on the left hand side. You'll see a bunch of spiky ice sculptures. Towards the end of it, you'll see Lucky Emblem number 8. From here, if you go forwards on the right-hand side, I'm gonna head all the way down towards the snow pad. You'll find another crossroads. Head to the left-hand side of this and go all the way down. You'll see a kind of pit area where a bunch of heartless pop up. Once you've defeated them, go ahead and look on the right hand side, you'll see a climbable wall. Towards the top, you want to head to the right hand side, you'll see a rocky slope. On the wall, there'll be Lucky Emblem number 7 in the form of snow. There's a lucky emblem here. Lucky Emblem number 9 will be at the North Mountain Snowfield save point. From here, you want to head directly straight forwards and go ahead and hug the left hand side. Hope we find some ingredients around here. You'll notice a drop, just go ahead and cross the entire ways until you find the, the rock wall that lets you climb up it again. Look behind you and you'll notice Lucky Emblem number 9 on the wall. Let's see. For Lucky Emblem number 10, go to the North Mountain Foothills save point. Go to the left hand side this time and keep going forwards. Go ahead and pass the Heartless. You're looking for a bunch of logs on the right hand side. Once you find it, go ahead and look on one side of it and you'll notice the lucky emblem. Let's see. Well, I'll help you find the next one. For Lucky Emblem number 11, go to the North Mountain Foothills save point. You want to continue going all the way forwards. Go towards the end where the big rock is. I think it's kind of fun. Now you're able to get a good look of the Lucky Emblem right here. It's on this little rock formation right there, as you can see here. Now I tried to take a picture right here, for some reason it wasn't working, but you are able to take a picture right next to the rock formation if you so wish to. Let's see. Nice picture, Sora. Let's 
Let's see. Got it. I'll help you find the next one. Yeah. They got lots of cargo to sort out. Let's see. Nice picture, Sora. Hey, Sora! I want to help them. Let's see. Let's see. Oh boy, let's find some more. <laughs> we should get around. Let's see. What's all this about? Let's see. Let's see. I bet you there's a lucky emblem here. Let's see. Okay, we're off. Yeah. Sora, take a gander. Let's see. Prepare to set sail. Yeah. Back off. Let's see. Well, I'll help you find the next one. Here to set sail. Let's see. 
Nice picture, Sora. Here to set sail. Yeah. This time we're going to be taking a look at San Francisco. The first emblem can be found in a hero's garage and it will actually be immediately to your left hanging on the wall. It's going to be a bunch of like tape in the shape of Let's the left. See. Three lucky emblems can be found in the South District today. Lucky emblem number two is actually relatively easy to find, but you will need an aerial point of view in order to take a good picture of it. It will be in the shape of a bush, in which case this spot where I'm standing right now is a good spot to take a picture. For number five, it's a little complicated, but you want to be going to the right hand side after the save point. Look up to where the big M is with the little like uh, signal tower, red, white signal tower. Keep going forwards. In the distance, one air step to the other signal tower that's always at the very end. And then from here, you can deep dive all the way down to the giant dome looking platform that's directly below you. From here, the lucky emblem will be on the right hand side of the dome. Let's see. Yes. I'll help you find the next one. For number six, it's still going to be in the South District Day. From here, you want to go on the left hand side, this time of the save point. After you go left a little bit ways, you can air step to the tower up above. From here, your objective is to go all the way to the building directly across from you. The lucky ammo will be directly on top of the building. Let's see. Nice picture, Sora. For the next two set of emblems, Lucky Emblem number three, if you take the building directly behind you and just run all the way up on top of it. From here on the left hand side, you'll notice like a pair of lights. If you look directly ahead, there's the Lucky Emblem. Let's see. You find the next one. For looking at number four, this time you want to go on the right hand side. You want to go back and shot lock up to the big M shaped building with the signal tower. And this time, after taking care of any heartless in the way, look on the left hand side and it will be on the fan across from you. 
The next three luck emblems will be a North District Day. For number nine, you can actually look directly in front of you and air step upwards and then deep dive onto the railing. Number nine is actually gonna be on the direct right hand side inside the tunnel itself. And the lucky emblem is actually elongated a little bit, so you have to be towards the end of the tunnel to take the accurate angle to take the picture. Let's see. For number 10, continue going forwards a little bit, drop down, and there should be a, a yellow car that will have a lucky emblem right on it. Let's see. For Lucky Emblem number 11, this one is actually probably the most fun in my opinion. Um, that building that I am looking at right now, that's who, where you're looking to go towards. It's fairly easy to do if you just use air step to get to it and then just run up the building. Your objective is to get all the way to the very top. The Lucky Emblem will be displayed at the very top of the Let's antenna. See. Nice picture, Sora. For the last two Lucky Emblems, seven and eight. For number seven, if you look on the left hand building and you air step towards it, run up on top of it all the way up. And then from here, you can actually look on your left hand side, there'll be one of those blimps. Lucky Emblem number seven will be on top of it. Let's see. For Lucky Emblem number eight, just keep running on the right hand side. This one's actually fairly easy. And you want to wrap all the way around it. The objective is to find a flight of stairs. On the stairs itself, in a kind of like shadow, will be Lucky Emblem number eight. Let's see. In the 100 acre woods, all of them are fairly easy to find. The first one being, if you go right up to the tree trunk, you look at the left hand side where the laundry is, the first one will be inside the bucket. Let's see. The next one's fairly easy, just stand right next to where you were, look into the distance and you will see a Let's bush see. in the shape of a lucky emblem. After that, go ahead and go to the pumpkin that's on the left hand side, the giant one, and behind it is the last lucky emblem. Let's see. If you go into your lucky emblem collection now, you will see that for the 100 acre wood section, you will have all of the lucky emblems. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this helped.